Hi, I'm Kane Skilbranson, and I'm doing a new series on people who make our parish great. Every time we come outside, we see our beautiful flowers out front. And today I'll be talking to someone who makes our flowers look so pretty. I'm with Doris Peterson, who spends a lot of time caring for the flowers beds out front. Doris, I understand you're a master gardener. Can you explain what that is? Sure. Master Gardeners is a program that was set up in its nationwide and right now it's in Iowa, it's handled by the Iowa State University. And what it does is it provides education and an opportunity for people to learn about plants and horticulture and all the things that we see every day but always don't know how to handle them. Um, as a matter of fact, we have a couple of people in our parish who started a really close by project. The Enabling Garden was started here and um, the volunteers that happen from Master Gardeners also work at the Iowa State Fairgrounds. They do all the gardens there. So it's a very interesting program, but mostly it's about education and volunteering. That's so interesting. That's, I guess that's why the flowers look so pretty out front. Yeah, I mean, it, it just you learn how to take care of plants and it's basically dirt and water and <laughs> sun. <laughs> <laughs> the Bible speaks of plants from the very beginning. On the third day of creation, God created plants and seed-bearing trees. Can you introduce us to some of the plants mentioned in the Bible and what they do? Well, we have, there are many, obviously all the plants that God created are wonderful and, and they've been here for a long time. We have some things that we talk about in the Bible, like, um, for example, the disciples worked with fishery and so they grew things like melons and onions and leeks and all those things that would flavor their food. So we have uh, walnuts and we have almonds all those things grew at the time that the Bible was written and we use them now too just as they did then hmm. I guess I never thought about plants being that old how about oils and healing um, we have things like um, lavender I grow a lot of lavender because it smells so good and I just love the fragrance that it leaves in your house roses sometimes people can press rose oil and use it on their skin it's very healing um, chamomile, people use it in tea, it's calming and refreshing and they like that. So there are lots of things that have been in our world all this time and we're still using them. And I hear you need help in the summer watering the plants. Well, yes, thank you for asking. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, if anyone would be interested in working in the gardens, we, um, as, as the summer progresses and it gets hotter, it's really hard to keep up with the watering. So if anybody is interested or able, I would love to have your help and we will um, figure out a schedule if people are interested. I'm not talking about watering all the time, I'm just talking about once in a while or maybe taking a week and being responsible for that week. So that would be really helpful if you're interested in, in, in doing that. That's so cool. Thanks for talking with us. Now when I think of an olive or a melon, I will think of biblical times.